Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I will be talking about my athletic lady footlocker haul. So over Christmas break, or for Christmas I, I guess, um, I asked my mom to get me a gift card from Lady Foot Locker because I knew that when starting the year 2017 I wanted to get more healthier and I wanted to start working out more. Because we have a gym membership but I rarely use it which isn't really good, it's kind of a waste of money and I kind of want to stop that. So I thought for, um, I thought a way to encourage me to get back into the gym would be to buy some workout equipment. And I feel like it doesn't really matter um, what you have on when you go to the gym, but I know that when I look cute, I feel cute, and my workout will be more, more fun and more um, enjoyable. Because usually when I work out, I dread it kind of going in there. But when I'm done, my endorphins are pumped and I'm like really excited. But for the most part, I feel like what you wear kind of matters at the gym. Only when it's, it's a personal thing. It's not like I care what people think about me. It's more like I care about how I see myself and what I look like when I'm at the gym. So um, without further ado, let's get started with the haul. So the first category that I want to talk about is sports bras. So I purchased, let me get them, three different sports bras. Like these are the three different ones. They're all Nike, by the way. I shop one brand, all Nike. I got this gray Nike sports bra in medium. I got this um, navy Nike sports bra as well. And also in a size medium. No, 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 I think I got this in large. I'm lying, I'm lying. I got the navy and the gray in large, these in large. And then I got the black um, sports bra in medium. And this is the only size they had. I tried to get a large because I don't really like feeling constricted when I'm working out. And I can like tell if my chest is feeling really tight. And that's not really a great healthy way to start a workout is when you feel constricted in your body. But this is all I had, so um, I just went with this one in my online order. I really like these sports bras, especially I wear the navy and the gray one the most. Um, I like these bras because they are very, it's breathable and um, they're very comfortable. I'm not feeling too constricted. I feel like they're on a second skin and I really, really like them. Um, I remember having one sports bra, I had to throw it away. It was a yellow neon Nike sports bra that I've had for like, I want to say three plus years because um, I played soccer in high school and I literally only had one sports bra and I was tired of that. Um, I guess I'm just tired of having one. So I bought three and I love all of these. These are really cute. Um, I can wear them on like a relaxed day which is nice and i can wear them to the gym so it's a dual purpose um material Next things that i got were um some bottoms and i got like three transitional bottoms so i got um nike shorts um nike capris and nike leggings because i was just thinking like in the summer i can wear the shorts and the capris and during the fall i can wear the capris and the leggings so that i'm not like wearing the same thing over and over again and i think this is very like smart way to especially for me this is just functional for me i think this is a smart way for me to handle um bottoms when working out so let me show you the leggings so when i bought the leggings these are the leggings all right you go they're super long uh, and they have just do it on the side. When I bought the leggings, I didn't see the just do it sign. Oh, I'm not in focus. Okay, not in focus. Sorry. Um, I didn't see the just do it sign or the logo on the side of the pants. So I thought there was just gonna be regular black leggings. And then when I got the package, it said on the side, I was kind of like, mm, I'm not really feeling that, but I've gotten over it. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Um, they're leggings and they're, that's what I wanted. So um, next time though, I'm definitely gonna get some, and this is a cotton fabric. It's not like the shiny elastic material that they have. This is just regular cotton. That's fine. I don't care. Um, um, but I know next time that to really get what I envisioned, I'm going to get the spandex ones with no writing on the side, but like the Nike logo at the hip or something like that. So yeah, these are the leggings. Um, I got the shorts. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't worn the shorts yet. These are the shorts. First of all, uh, it's a comfortable thing. Like I am not really comfortable yet wearing these shorts out, but I feel like when spring comes, I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet, get over my anxiety over my body and just wear them because I know that they're going to be really helpful. It's going to be super hot. And what's the point of like, if I'm working on my body, what's the point of being ashamed of it in these shorts type of deal. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wear them 
Um, especially, also I can wear them when I go in, um, when I work out inside as well. So these will be good to use. Um, I also got these capris. Um, these are basic capris. I really like them. I wear them the most out of the three bottoms that I purchased. Um, I really like these a lot. I love capris. Capris are really easy to work out in. It's not too constricting with my ankles or anything like that. Um, like um, leggings are. Like it's just a lot of fabric at the end. And with these, obviously, because they're capris, they do not have that problem. I really like them. They're stretched. They have a little shine. And they make my legs look really good, really small. Black is very slimming. And if you've noticed, I have a color scheme. I kind of stuck to black and like not neutrals, but like dark colors because I hate when I go to the gym and I sweat. I'm a profuse sweater, by the way. Let you guys know, I am a sweater. Like I sweat all the time and I don't like that. And when I wear like gray or white clothing at the gym, it's like, it's noticeable how sweaty I got and I just think that's so like not cute. So I want to get away from that. So I bought all black and dark colored clothing, which is like A1. Um, I did not get any tops, like workout tops because I have so many regular t-shirts that I didn't want to waste any money on tops first all, I didn't have that much on my gift card it was like $200 and all that stuff basically cost a little bit over $200 so I was like it's it's fine like I can find a t-shirt to wear and it'd be no problem and I got these the Roshi's all black um, my sister and my mom had these shoes before me and I was always wearing either my mom's or accidentally wearing my sister's. So I decided to just go ahead and buy my own pair. These shoes are really awesome. I really like the support at the bottom of the shoe. Um, I wear these to work sometimes and I kind of work like for, I work like maybe like five to eight hour shifts at work and the support is really, really awesome. Um, I don't like how the, like when I wear them, they kind of crease right here. I don't really like that, but other than that, this is a great shoe, great to work out in. Um, I try to keep them as clean as I possibly can. I don't really like dirty shoes. Well, I like dirty shoes, but not like new shoes that I just got and I'm trying to keep them clean. These shoes are really awesome. I wear them on like my relaxed days at school and when I go to the gym. So it's kind of like good shoe for like fashion and fitness. To go along with uh, working out and um, being more healthy, you kind of need a nutrition plan and changing your diet is a huge part of, I guess, transformation in your body. So I have been practicing kind of, sort of, eating healthier and less sweets. I try to tend to not have sweets during the week and more towards the weekend, like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday type of deal. Um, but sometimes if I feel like it, yeah, I'm just gonna splurge and eat. I'm not trying to starve myself. I just wanna be more healthy. I do drink water, a lot, lot more water than I used to um, last year, which is great. My skin has seen a huge improvement. It's um, way more clear and I feel like my pores are smaller and my skin, my skin isn't less oily, but I feel like water has done me well. Um, I also, back to my nutrition part, um, I purchased a book, nutrition book, that I've been wanting for the longest time. I purchased the Lean in 15 book by Joe Wicks. Um, I haven't really practiced like seeing the recipes. This is the book. It's really, really nice. And I read a little bit about the book, um, on Amazon, like they give you like the rules, like here you go, like you can see the kind of like the rules and understanding like what's important and um, Joe Wicks, he's a cutie. Um, this is really cool and like the meals look super, super healthy. So I bought this because I was like, I wanna start learning how to cook. My mom was telling us that we need to stop eating out because that's literally all we do because my mom really doesn't like to cook that much. So um, eating out is breaking the bank and it's not really helping my body at all. So I thought a good cookbook would help me um, kind of figure it out nutrition wise and help me um, get better and be happier and be healthier because I feel like when you're healthier, everything else in your life is good. Like you're positive, you're happy, you're perky, um, you have more energy. I feel like lately I've been on this routine of like not sleeping enough and not sleeping doesn't really help me with school or anything like that. So 
eating right is the way to go. I think I'm gonna start maybe in February. Uh, I know it's because it's almost the end of the month anyway. Um, start in February, really trying to get these meals together. And maybe I could vlog or something about how I'm cooking these meals and me at the gym. Like I should do a day in the life of me at the gym and um, eating healthy and all that. Cause I would love for you guys to see my journey. Um, I think that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching if you press play. Um, I also made a blog post about this on my website, inbetweenlooks.com, and basically I'm saying the exact same things that I um, am saying in this video, uh, just in word form, and you can see more visuals and more descriptive language if that's what you're into. Um, if you could please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I promise that I will be a little bit more consistent. I have just been trying to adjust to school and my work schedule, and now I feel like I have like a routine and I'm understanding how my classes work and what I could be doing, how I could be more productive, that I hopefully can be filming once a week. Like I'm trying to keep, my, uh, keep myself on a goal and a schedule. And yeah, that's about it. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!